Hey y'all. So today we're going to be quick going over more about parallel lines. So if you have a set of parallel lines and they're cut by another line, they intersect, that's called a transversal. So in this example, A and B are parallel and this one is a transversal line T. One way that sometimes they'll show you they're parallel, sometimes you might see arrows like this in the line and that means those are parallel. And you can see the angles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we've gone over some vocabulary, just real quick. Corresponding angles um, are angles that you could like slide onto each other. So in this example, 1 and 5 are corresponding because you could slide 1 down to 5. Uh, 7 corresponds to 3 because you could slide them on top of each other. Alternate interior angles mean alternate is going to be the other side. So if you're talking about the left, you would go to the other side to the right. So alternate interior means four. The alternate interior would be five because they're both interior angles and they're alternate. The alternate angle of three would be six. Same side interior is exactly what it sounds like. Same side on um, interior. So if you're looking at four, the same side interior would be six. They're on the same side and they're both interior. Vertical angles are those that are going to be across from each other, but their lines intersect. So 2 and 3, they are across from each other, their lines intersect. So 2 and 3 are vertical angles, and 1 and 4 are vertical angles. And adjacent angles mean they are adjacent beside each other. So for example, 8 and 7 are adjacent angles that are right beside each other. They share a common vertex and a common side. 6 and 8 are also adjacent angles. So 7 and 8 and 8 and 6 are adjacent angles. So here's one example. Draw this picture in your notes, and then we're going to answer these questions. Measure of angle 2 is 130. So wherever you see that, you're going to denote that in your picture, 130 degrees. Now my suggestion, before you even start to look at the question, let's just fill in what we know, because you will probably fill it in, and then it'll be easy to answer the question. Angle 2 is 130. First thing I would go to is look for corresponding, because we know that corresponding angles are congruent. So angle 2 can slide on to angle 6, which means that's also going to be 130. Those are congruent. We talked about that. We also talked about alternate interior angles are congruent. So the alternate interior angle from 6 is going to be 3. So that's going to be 130. It also makes sense that these are vertical angles, so those are congruent. If we look at vertical angles, the vertical angle for angle 6 is angle 7. So that's also going to be 130 degrees. Now there's a couple of different things that you can look at from here. If you look at same side interior, we know that angle 6 and angle 4 are going are supplementary angles. That means they add to be 180. We also know that 7 and 8 form a straight angle, so those add to be 180. Angle 5 and 6 add to be 180, they're a straight angle. 6 and 8 had to be 180 because they're a straight angle. So no matter which way you approach it, there are lots of ways you can figure this out. If these together are going to be 180, then we know we can subtract 180 minus 130 and we get 50. So angle 8 is 150. That means all vertical angles are congruent, so that is 50 degrees. And this is corresponding to angle 1, so that's 50 degrees. And angle 1 is a vertical angle of angle 4, so that's 50 degrees. Every angle in here is either going to be 50 or 130. Now, when we come over here, we can simply fill this in. When we read it, measure of angle 1 is? 50. Measure of angle 3? 130. Angle 5? 50. 6, 130, and 7, 130. So instead of trying to go to your questions first, I suggest you fill in what you know and then answer your questions. So just real quick, the proper way to name angles, and you might already know this, but we name angles with three letters. So for example, angle 1 is right here. You have to make sure the vertex is the center letter, G. So we're going to name it AGB, AGB. So in that direction, AGB is this angle. You could also say BGA. 
but the G has to be in the middle for angle one. Angle two is BGC or CGB. So for angle three, to name angle three, we would need to use C, G, D, those three letters. The G has to be the middle because that's the vertex. Now, if we want to name two and three together, these two angles together, then the three letters we would need to use would be B, G, and D. So that's just very quick about how to name angles. In this example, parallel lines cut by transversal, but instead of numbers measure angle 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever, we're actually using letters. So a couple of questions. Make sure you get this down and you copy this down. Question number one, what are, what are angle FBA? So first thing you do is you find angle FBA right here. And ECB, angle ECB. So first you have to find those angles, FBA and ECB. When you look at it, what kind of angles are they? And you can go back to that first page and look at the vocabulary, and these are corresponding, corresponding angles. Those are corresponding angles because you can slide them on top of each other and they correspond to each other. Question number two, what are GBC? GBC and ECB. So the same one right here. What are GC, whoops, GBC and ECB? So you see they're on different, different sides. So as soon as you see they're on different sides, we know that those are going to be alternate. And then you have to decide are they interior or are they exterior? And these two angles are interior. So alternate interior angles. All right, Ms. Barnes is going to do the last question. All right, if angle HCD is 115, what other angles are 115? So if this is angle HGC, well, the first thing, or HCD, excuse me, the first thing we can do is do vertical angles because we know they're congruent. So this angle here would be 115, and this is angle ECB. Right? The other angles that we know would be the same are alternate interior angles. So if this is 115, then this angle is also 115. And this would be angle HCG or HCB, sorry. H, no, sorry, wrong, G, B, B. I'm just handling you all the time. <laughs> all right, so if this is angle 115, then the vertical angle would also be 115, and this is angle F, B, A. And let's see. I think we have them all. We do, yeah. So... Now, I'm not saying do this, but if this, if we, if I wanted to, if Ms. Barnes wanted to, we could ask you what are all these other angles that we're missing, and you would simply need to know that these are straight angles, these are supplementary angles, and you would do 180 minus 115, but that is not the purpose today. So we just want to go over parallel lines cut by transversal and some of those vocabulary words.